Sibby Sibby Sarah. Today on the show, we're going to be making um, Texas cavi uh, Cowboy Caviar Dip. So, now don't worry about the recipe. Scroll down under the video. It's going to be right now. So, you need two cans of beans. I chose black beans and chickpeas, which are called garbanzo beans. Now you drain the chickpeas and the black beans and rinse them real good and drain, drain them again. Okay, in there I have got a chopped up bell pepper. And I had just some of the little ones, so I just chopped them up so they're really good and colorful. We got um, yellow, red, and orange. <coughs> We're going to put some um, red onion, tomato. Corn, you can use canned corn, but make sure you drain it and rinse it real good. Rinse it and drain it. And then in here, let's make the dressing that we're going to pour over. So I've already got my chopped cilantro in here. That's, we're going to put a little bit of jalapeno juice. Because I don't have a jalapeno to chop up in here. I could put some of them, but I'm saving them for nacho night. You could chop up some pickled jalapenos. Or fresh jalapeno, whatever you want. So I'm just putting a little bit, maybe a little bit, tad bit more. The pickled jalapeno juice. Lime juice. And some honey. A little bit of honey. And then we need a little bit of olive oil. A little bit of taco season. One to two tablespoons. Depends on how much season you want. I'm putting two. See if I can get this in here and toss it without getting it everywhere. Oliver, you me get stuff goes in here. I love me some cilantro. If you don't like cilantro, maybe leave it out or use a little bit of um, parsley. So colorful and pretty. I wanted avocado in here, but the avocados didn't look good at the store. So we just I just passed them on up. Look at all them pretty colors. You can maybe if you want more veggies in here, chop you up a zucchini. Um Hotter peppers, chop you up some hotter peppers if you don't. Green onion, I think, would be good in here. Whatever floats your boat. So, you put really pros to let it sit in the refrigerator and let it chill and do its thing so the flavors can get all up in there. But, I'm going to try this. I'm a little stubborn little. He just didn't want to open. And then, cover it through tortilla chips, whatever you want. Scoops, tortilla scoops, Frito scoops. 
I think this would be good on, I think this would be really good on some um, baked fish or baked chicken. Oh, you could do the little mini bell peppers. Good. Now it get more flavorful as you let it chill in the refrigerator. You don't want it like they're dressing, sopping and dressing. You want just enough that it soaks in a little bit. Perfect to take to a picnic, potluck, family reunion because you don't have to worry about mayo spoiling or anything like that. So let me know if you've ever heard of this. And what you think about it, I think this would be even, um, take a big scoop of this and put on some rocks. See you in the next episode of Simply Sarah. Bye, everybody.